Hi guys, hey guys, what's up guys? My name is Shalar and this, this is a very celebratory place today because we're talking about my birthday and what I did. So yeah, we're just talking about me. Um, hi, if you are new and you've never seen my face before, thank you for coming to join me and thank you for showing up today. I hope you choose to join the support group gang because we always need new members. Got too many chairs open, too many snacks for y'all to snack on, too many opinions to share and too many conversations that haven't been had yet. If you're not new, welcome back. You're the real MVP as always and I'm so glad that you always click on my face because that means you care about what I put on my face and what comes out my mouth every week. This week is a little different because this video particularly is only talking about what I did on my birthday and you know trying out new stuff but if you are curious about how I achieved this look what I used where the stuff came from stick around and I will my dog has lost his mind and I will catch you at the end of the video first if you hear noise or talking in the background that is my mom she is cooking and she's on the phone so forgive the noise and I have a fan on it's actually very warm in my house today because it's actually like 62 degrees in New York. I don't know why Spring decided she wanted to show up today, but you know, she did. Um, what was I gonna say? Yes, so my new poster actually has to do with today's video because it is from the brand Ferocious Beauty. And that is what I'm not reviewing, but reviewing for you. I'm not reviewing it because I did a poll and you guys just said you didn't want to see a review. You just wanted to get ready with me. So that's what I'm going to tell you about what happened on my birthday, or at least what I did for my birthday in general. Um, but I will say all of this was gifted. This is the first time a brand has ever gifted me anything. And yes, she's an indie brand. Yes, she's small, but it means a lot to me. And yes, I'm small. I'm a nano creator on this platform, meaning nobody's really checking for me. Hence why I can get away with saying certain things, but I also don't get views like that. And I'm working on it. Our goal is to reach a thousand subs by the end of this year, okay? Thousand subs, meaning I need your help. Um, but she did gift everything to me for my birthday. She even sent me the poster and she also sent me a handwritten note telling me happy birthday with her card that gives you a brief synopsis of who she is and I'll just give you a brief synopsis of what that was um and I'll just run through everything real quick so you know what the packaging looks like the theme all that great stuff so her name is Candy so hey Candy hey girl hey um I believe she's from the Midwest Indiana I believe um my best friend lives there I have also lived there for a year I've lived in the Midwest about two years of my life so shout out to you guys over there um she's all an author she's an author um this collection is actually named after one of her books and i'm actually very curious to go and find this book i really want to know where i can get it from <laughs> can i get it on amazon because i will get it from amazon and read it because i do like fantasy i do like dark fantasy um i also like sci-fi i am an avid reader i read a lot uh i read various things but um fiction is my personal favorite um yeah so along with the poster the outside packaging this is the slip packaging for the palette, but it's the same packaging that's on the actual palette. So here's the palette and we'll get into that. Um, she sent me four liquid lipsticks that are with the collection as well. They come in this packaging, which is really nice actually. Logo, very smooth, very clean. And then this is what it looks like. Very smooth, very clean. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so the shade she sent me was Sinvi. Tiana, Marley, and Ferocious Bite. And she was so gracious to send me these and I truly, truly appreciate it. And you guys should go check her out. Everything she sent, I've already, my mom already swatched these, not even me, she swatched them on her lip because my mom would just be in my stuff. Um, she actually really liked them. <laughs> um, so there's that. She will say, I, her one critique, could she get a slightly lighter purple? <laughs> in the future because she really loves purple lipsticks. That's like her go-to lip color for some reason. And this one was kind of dark. She likes a little brighter one. So, you know, she said throw out, you know, the idea. Do with it as you please, it's a free one. Um, she also sent a liquid highlighter, which will be going under underneath our base. And this is the box that it came in. Also very pretty, very, very everything's seamless. And she sent it all in this big mailer. This is what the mailer looks like. This is what the box. 
This is the inside. Everything was individually wrapped and stuff. But um, that's what it looks like. And now, let's get into the actual video and what I'm going to be doing. So now, oh, in case you're new, I put everything on the screen, whether I write it on the bottom of what I use or it's a palette, I show the picture you'll see as we go. But I'm going to prime my eyes first. By the way, I fixed my camera angle again, so this way, because it was a problem in my last video, when I looked down into the mirror to do, I raised the mirror as well. You guys can still see everything that I'm doing. So yeah, I thought about y'all, saw my mistake, I tried to correct it, you know, let me know. But let me do this and come back. By the way, um, what she did, you have a protective slip inside the, palette the palette comes with a mirror but all the names of the shades are on this little sheet that you can keep in there i'm just gonna prop it up in front of the mirror because you know i use two mirrors anyway so it didn't make sense but i also i guess jumping into what i did for my birthday i bought myself new makeup brushes and i prefer synthetic brushes so i don't really feel the need to spend x amount of dollars on them i didn't ever really have a budget on what i'm gonna spend on brushes but i realized i prefer synthetic over natural hair and synthetic actually just happens to be cheaper significantly cheaper so i bought brushes off amazon and these brushes were cute and had really good reviews because they are neon and they're colorful i'm gonna show you what they look like so i got two sets of just eyeshadow brushes so this is one set that, i mean it was like 16 brushes but this is what they look like multicolored. they're super cute and super soft and then i got these neon ones which was like another 16 piece set super cute they're from the brand doe color on amazon i'm not mad about this purchase i am not mad at all okay now i have in this unnecessary amount of brushes and i'm very happy about that now to start our makeup look i'm gonna go into the shade twisted actually the way i set this up actually aligns perfectly with the palette i'm gonna go whoa <laughs> girl <laughs> We go buff this into. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of pigment that I was not ready for. <laughs> just gonna, you know what? Let's let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay, so aside from buying myself, oh god damn, candy, Miss Candy, Miss Candy, can you come to the front of the congregation, please? I was not prepared for this. I like, I watched reviews, but um, you know, reviews never really do justice, especially since there wasn't that many people my skin tone and darker using the brand because it's such a small brand. So, you know, I was just like, I ain't, y'all got pigment, but y'all don't look like me. So I need to see real pig. I, oh, I messed up. Cause I was supposed to use another shade to blend this out. Oh, this was a lot. Um, um, I'm gonna figure out if I can fix it. I don't know, but uh, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Cause I have a vision and I plan for it to come to fruition. But Lord, by the way, this brush is really soft. I actually really like this. I'm so glad I made this purchase. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, <sighs> let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Linder or Livender. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that's the shade I'm going to use. We're going to see if we can blend off the top of this. Um, okay, okay, it's working. It's working. It's working. It's not okay. Um, so yeah, after, well, I brought my brushes, my brushes after, but um, I also decided I wanted to start getting into fragrance, not scents, because I use Japanese cherry blossom and a thousand wishes on a regular everyday basis. That's my regular scent. So that's like, I, I layer them to make my own scent. So I guess you call it a Japanese wish. <laughs> that's a good one. But um, I got these samples from Sephora. I also rebought some skincare from Fenty. These, um, yeah, I got these brushes, ordered a new phone case, get screen protector, basic things, new wrist brace, cause since I can't find mine, just for those those extra struggles some days. But um what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? That's what I did for myself. Now let me get into what I did, what happened, and what everyone did for me. Um Steven not only came up 
because we live like an hour apart from each other in case you didn't know so we do not live in close proximity to each other like that um oh by the way i took the shade the nether yeah the nether it's the black shade in the palette it's a deep oh god this is so pregnant lord oh okay anyway like i was saying um this went darker than i had planned <laughs> for some reason definitely went darker than when i planned um but yeah steven came up surprised me he brought wine he brought me one of some of my favorite cake which is cannoli cake by the way um and he surprised me with the kaleidos and angela nyquist palette the club nebula palette oh i didn't even think he was able to get it because we both woke up i woke him up at 2 a.m i didn't think he was able to purchase it but um, he managed to get it somehow. Somehow, this is turning into a trust the process kind of look. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna trust this process because uh, I know sis looks like she got a black eye, and that's not what's happening. Um, what you gonna call it? What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Um, my mom came and surprised me too. Oh, by the way, you will see a video on the palette on friday this video will be monday so it's the monday when you're seeing this but um you'll see that video friday um i'm gonna be honest this video is probably the last video this week's videos this one and fridays will be the last videos for march because i'm gonna take a week off so either the last week of march there will be no videos or the first week of april there will be no videos most likely because that's easter week and um I'm taking religious observation from here and work. That's how I feel. I mean, my job is also on spring break, but still. Oh, by the way, I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer. Um, I do this for shimmers regardless. So to give it a fair chance, like I'm gonna do it like I normally do. I don't wanna do it and be like, oh, you know, the shimmers ain't shimming the way I want it to. You know, they're not shucking and jiving. Like y'all know I like my shimmers to do. Um, but yeah, my mom surprised me. Her and my dog, so he's here. He's actually outside right now. Today he decided he wanted to be a devil spawn and not respect sleep, you know? But I, I miss my little man and I always miss my mom, so... And I'm actually going back with her. That's why I'm taking the week off, because I um, ain't gonna be here. Uh, please be advised that I do wear a mask. And just because I said I'm not gonna be here does not mean I'm actually going on vacation. We go and stay in my mother's house. We don't go anywhere. And she lives like damn near in the middle of nowhere. Whoa. Sorry, it's cranberry juice and seltzer. Um, ooh, this shimmer is actually kind of soft. So, I think I need a fluffier shader brush for this. So let's go on with this one. Um, yeah, this one's picking up a lot better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's doing. This is what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. Um, so these shimmers work best with fluffier shader brushes. And then I guess you could go in with a real flat shader brush or a concealer brush to really, like, define it. But I'm not having too much of a problem defining it. I'm not going to call this fallout, per se. I'm gonna say because it's a fluffier brush, it's just flicking the specks everywhere. Oh, that looks good on camera. Oh, it's picking up well everywhere. But yeah, but because it's a fluffier brush, it's like flinging the specks everywhere. Yeah, yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah. Um, also this week, the, the Snyder Cut of the Justice League was released yes i watched all four hours of it yes i liked it i actually liked it better than the original was it that much better than the original no but it definitely brought the story together do i necessarily feel like he could have did this in less than four hours yes did it feel like four hours no but do i feel like he could have saved some time still yes um for those of you who don't know i'm a real big comic book nerd so um i prefer the marvel cinematic points of views of like they do really good with their movies so x-men 
you know, the Avengers series. I'm, I'm excited to see what else is going to happen in phase four right now. Like, I loved WandaVision. I just watched the first episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, I'm on it, okay? I've seen every single Marvel superhero movie more than, more than like five times. So please don't, don't even try me. Um, I'm gonna go in with the purple here. The lighter one, Linder, Lifter. I'm, I don't know, or Lunder. Is the V supposed to be a U? I'm so confused, <laughs> but hold on. But yeah, the Snyder Cut. Um, I will say, if you are a comic book person and you haven't seen it yet, skip past this part. Um, but I genuinely felt like he did a good job with the slow-mos, but then he also overdid it with the slow-mos in the sense of like, we ain't need that many slow-mos. Like, you ain't have to slow-mo everybody. Okay, the, the, the main people, Lois, cool, that extra scene with the flash where you slow mowed him i guess that was supposed to be iris but i'm like we didn't do anything with that she was there for two seconds what was the point of that <laughs> i didn't i didn't feel the point i genuinely didn't um i felt like we could have skipped that <laughs> we, we could have skipped that um i just don't like ben affleck as batman i think he's a very lazy-esque batman i genuinely do um jared leto's second version of the joker at this point i think is a lot better than his first um i overall like to read dc comics over you know marvel comics but i like to watch marvel comics as movies more than the dc movies because for some reason their execution of their movies just aren't as good don't get it um i just don't get it it's just i have questions i need answers someone please tell me something like that's just how i feel about it but um yeah so far see it's coming together it's, i'm gonna fix down here it's coming together all right it's coming together but yeah oh let me zoom out just a little bit just a little bit okay but yeah um overall though i did like it i did think it was still better than um oh this feels nice going on like this doesn't feel like a normal like a normal like liquid light highlighter i just put on a lot <laughs> i just put on a lot and uh <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> my face okay i got a sponge <laughs> um but yeah oh see this is she shade matched me with this illuminizer by the way really well because um it definitely is looking like my skin's a better. Ayo. But yeah, I'm like looking forward to all of what's being released, comic book, superhero wise, both from DC and um, Marvel. But hands down, Marvel is winning cinematically. Just it's just being presented better. I don't know what they're doing over there, but DC, I'm gonna need you to go talk to somebody and ask for some pointers, if anything. I realize I put this on before I put primer on. So what I'm gonna do, never mind. I already, you know what? We just gonna keep going. I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of backwards. I was caught up. So we just wanna see if this works. Um, but yeah, looking forward to all of that. My mom got me a little cannoli cake to cut after <laughs> Steven got me one and then I ended up buying two more. I got one slice for free and then i bought an extra one and i also have chocolate cakes so i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna have cake after this um <laughs> say what you want but this ain't fluffy for no reason your auntie ain't fluffy for no reason um what else that was pretty much it actually um i've just been chilling um i will say i was going through a very dark time i'm still kind of getting over it um, it was just waiting on me. My school also isn't doing spring break this year. And I didn't know this. I was wondering. I was like, shouldn't I be on spring break already? So the week of spring break, they decided to send out a memo, an email to the students saying, you know, yeah, we understand that there's no spring break, but you guys still should take into consideration your mental health and emotional health. So give me spring break. So give me spring break. So today, 
I rearranged all my brushes, by the way, since I got new brushes, so my face brushes are a little weird. But today I'm gonna mix the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. That's a lot, but this should be enough to cover my whole face, but this is still a lot, considering a little goes a long way. And I'm gonna mix it with the NYX Born to Glow. I just feel like these two together, really matte and then like radiant, would complement each other so well. And I just think that it would just make a really good finish. So this is what they look like together. Um, and then I got this new NYX brush. I've been trying to find this brush. Turns out it's not actually a foundation brush. But it's gonna be a foundation brush for me today. Ooh, she thick. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I did too much. I definitely did too much. Okay. Um, first of all, it's doing what I thought it was gonna do. Looking radiant, but still not like, I'm waiting for it to fully dry down. Um, for those of you who are probably wondering why do I prefer synthetic brushes over natural hair brushes, synthetic brushes just don't absorb product as much as natural hair brushes do, hence why I ended up putting on way too much on my face. Um, I still have on way too much. But I'm gonna fix it, it's gonna get fixed. Again, excuse my parents in the background. They are having a grand old time by themselves. Um, I'm going back in with Linder. I'm gonna call it Lin Lind Lift. I don't know. I'm gonna bring this down on my lower lash line. Um, I'm gonna do green liner. Sorry, I didn't even realize it wasn't in focus. I'm gonna do green liner because this month's color scheme well, the color theme for this month was green, so I'm incorporating green into this look. My eye looks like a starry night to me. It's giving me poster vibes. Oh, you guys can't see the poster right now because I'm zoomed in, but it's giving me poster vibes. All right, I'm gonna go in with this dark green gel liner from ColourPop. This is from the Raw Beauty Christie collection in spare time. I actually really like this, and I would actually buy more ColourPop liners in the future. I don't need them now because I have enough colored liners and I don't, I only recently got into colored liners, but um, so we're doing a lower lash line. Okay, this part I'm gonna do silently because I have to focus, but I'm using the NYX Vivid Brights liner in this like lime green and we're gonna do something cool and then I'm gonna go over it with the NYX Epic Wear liner in white. So, and then I'm gonna use the ColourPop BFF liner I think it's called. No, just their liquid liner in Graceland, which is their way. I'm gonna do all that silently because I gotta focus. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so this is what the eyes are looking like. I'm liking this. I'm over here trying to be all creative and extra. I still have not finished this juice yet. <laughs> blush. So my old concealer brush that I was using to blend out my concealer, I'm using to now test out how it would do with blending out my blush, like my liquid blush. And I think it, oh, oh, it's, ooh. I like this. I like this. For blush, I'm using this little muted pink one. You know who I found on TikTok today? Or I guess didn't find, they showed up in my For You page. Um, Tony from Out of the Box, the black guy. I was like, oh. And he was like, duet this. I'm gonna duet it too because <laughs> He was singing, I was like, so long, farewell to you, my friend. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. It's 
been great to play and sing together in the box, but now it's time to say goodbye. Oh, my hands are full. I can't even do that part, but man, memories. I was like, out of the block, out of the box was my thing. I was like, where's the little Asian shit? I was like, y'all was y'all was lit together. I need her on this too, cause she she had a bomb voice, guys. I really wish I knew her name. I really don't know her name. I should Google that. All right, the shade that I'm gonna go in with is Tiana, which is the black shade, because honestly, I didn't know if I wanted to use purple, but I felt like, eh, eh, no. I'm gonna go for this one. So, ooh, I already like the dofa. I like these kinds of dofas, the flat ones, the flat ones. Yeah, they just fit better to your mouth. Mmm. Ooh. <laughs> Sound like Stephen. Ooh. Okay, so this is the final look. Mm. I was not expecting this pigmentation, but I'm not mad at this pigmentation because this look came out pretty bomb, if I do say so myself. Um, the one thing I have as a concern is this liquid lip. One, well, I guess two things. Um, I don't know if it's translating the same way on camera, but I kind of wish it was blacker. That makes sense, like a darker black, like a true, true black. It's kind of like a cold black, which I mean, works depending on when you're wearing it, what you're wearing it with. Like this would be a good daytime black compared to like the Fenty one that's like black, black. It's a good nighttime black. Um, but other than that, I don't really have that much. Oh, and it doesn't feel like it fully dried down yet. Like it still feels a little sticky. I don't know, maybe it's just because it hasn't fully dried down yet. Maybe that's boring, but I like the way the finish looks. It looks good and it's comfortable. So it's not like a super drying mat where your mouth is just like, <gasps> okay, like your lips can breathe. So there's that, I do like that. Or it could be the fact that I had on chapstick before. I'm gonna try another one in another video, probably in the next video, I'm gonna try a different color, depending on the look that I create with it. Um, and see if that makes a difference if I don't put on chapstick, if it'll dry down fully. That's my only thought on it. But other than that, I'm really feeling this look. I love, yo, these shadows. <laughs> these sh I just told my mom, like my mom says she loves the look. And I was like, mom, I was not expecting, you know, this kind of punch from these shadows. And she was just like, really? I said, yeah, like, girl. <laughs> I finessed it because I messed up, but, um, it came out bomb. I'm very pleased. Um, the liner look came out pretty, I'm getting better. I'm learning how to really steady my hand and be able to do liner on camera because normally I'm like this. Literally I hold the mirror and I'm holding, yeah, it's a whole thing. But um, yeah, so it's looking good. And the Illuminizer, going in my base routine. Going in it. I don't care, it is going in it now because Lord, it looks fire. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope. You guys check out Ferocious Beauty. I will link the website down below and um, everything that I use from it will be in my description box like I normally list everything that's on my face. And I am so glad you showed up and joined me if you are new and you remember, road to 1,000 subs before the year is over. But until next time, until I see you again, stay ferocious, stay beautiful. Um, Stay, hmm, what's a good one? Stay safe, because people out here wilding out. You see what's going on in Miami? Please still wear your masks. Don't, don't stop wearing those. Even if you have the vaccine, you can still get, you know, the virus. So please don't think you can. But until I see you again, stay beautifully you.